Korean Quilt. Hello and welcome back to Korean Quilt. Your guide. <laughs> It's right, we're a guide. We're a guide to something. What are we a guide of, Anna? The Korean language and culture. culture. Okay, today we're going to learn how to ask for someone's opinion about something. This is a good expression to know when you're traveling because you can ask about a certain place and see if it's worth sightseeing or not. Okay, Richard? Sorak-san, is it worth seeing? Oh, I'd have to say yes. Having been there a few times, it mm -hmm. is absolutely gorgeous, especially in the fall. Okay, great. Now, let's do that in Korean, Richard. Is Sorak-san worth seeing? Sorak-san 볼만해요? Okay. 네, 볼만해요. It's definitely worth seeing. Perfect. Sorak-san is, of course, Sorak Mountain, and 볼 means see, 만해요 means is it worth. As you can probably already tell, depending on the intonation, you can make this expression a question or a statement. Right, so let's practice. Practice, Anna. Is that new movie uh, that's out? You remember the one you were talking about? Is it is it worth seeing? Mm -hmm. Is that new movie 볼만해요? 네, 볼만해요. Yes, it's worth seeing. Now, when answering, the tone is very important. Exactly. So, if you say it, for example, a little bit downtrodden or meekly, 네, 볼만해요. It just comes out as well. Yeah, I guess it's worth seeing. But if you're saying with a lot of energy and excitement, 네, 볼만해요, then it comes out as wow, it's really worth seeing. Exactly. So your tone is key. Keep that in mind. Now let's do some repeating. Okay. So first the question, 볼만해요. Is it worth seeing? 볼만해요. 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 All right. Now so now our answer, mm -hmm. yeah, it's worth seeing. 볼만해요. 볼만해요. Yeah, it's definitely worth seeing. 볼만해요. 볼만해요. Right, so with that, we're unfortunate to say goodbye. Okay, goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow.